I want to take a few moments and uh, look into spaces from Hugging Face. So spaces are simple ways or a simple way to host a machine learning demo application directly on your user profile or your organization of uh, Hugging Face. So uh, this feature is currently in private beta and I am on the waiting list to access the spaces. But even so, I think uh, those uh, who have an account with Hugging Face, which is free, can actually access all of these machine learning running apps, all running apps most recently first. So to better understand, so basically this is a place where people can um, host a machine learning demo application and I think this is actually for free so they also give you um, a tutorial here to create a new space but since I am not uh, on the beta access yet I'm still on the list I cannot do that well um, I want to say that when I get uh, access to this uh, hugging face spaces I will probably make a video on it but now uh, as uh, you can see there are quite a few applications over here and I want to look uh, specifically into one of them maybe. Let's look into Doll E Mini which is what I have here. This is actually the paper or maybe not the paper but the release report. So what does Doll E do or should do and I have to say beforehand so this is kind of a spoiler alert for what's going on. I am, to be honest, I am a little, a little bit, not necessarily disappointed, but I think that the lack, there is a lack of quality when it comes to generating images uh, via machine learning because most, uh, most of what I've seen out there is low resolution, lower quality, and most of them are abstract, abstract images. So that's something that I uh, do not particularly like, but of course, this is an ongoing field and there are, um, as far as I know, there have been a few people that developed Google Collab notebooks who have, uh, or those notebooks are able to generate higher resolution uh, images from text. But the thing is, most of them are still abstract. So it's not like they resemble reality. Most of them are abstract. So, that being said, uh, I do understand that this is an ongoing work and the field is going to progress. But as far as we are right now, we don't see like a lot of high quality here. So, an avocado armchair flying into space. Well, since you're a human being, you kind of... I don't even think you can see this... This is being an avocado flying into space, is it? Probably not. And they present the architecture here. Let's actually, so we have the, the application running into spaces. So this is the Flex Community Doll E Min, Mini. Uh, let's see, let me actually doll, doll. We have, this is the one that I'm actually running. I think there is, there are two of them. There's this one by Abbott Labs. Let's also look into this. So we have both of them running into spaces. Now let us actually generate something with it. Generate images from text. Let's say I want to generate a meadow Let's say vividly, vividly green meadow with sheep. Let's copy this and also run it into the other uh, doll E. But first, let's with sheep. What's wrong with sheep? With sheep. Vividly green meadow with sheep. Let's uh, press enter to run this. And it should generate the, the images, I believe. Now, let's also run this one from 
Abbott Labs, submit. This one's still running. Well, uh, so yeah, this is what we've got there. So for someone who actually wants to uh, look into the release report, uh, it is presented here by the team with these folks. We worked on reproducing the results of OpenAI. So OpenAI is probably going to release the doll E, the real one, because this is uh, a mini version of it, both of them. Um, and uh, when um, OpenAI is probably going to release uh, theirs, the original one, we're probably, probably going to see something of... Uh, probably higher quality and there are all other alterations or other methods of generating uh, images from text via machine learning there is something called i think again uh let's see clip plus vqgan or something like that clip vgan or something or VQGAN, I guess. Yeah, so we have a lot of them. Experimenting with clip VQGAN to create art. Let's look into these. We also have some uh, code here. Some videos. Creator Night Cafe. I think this is probably a paid product. Let's actually do start creating. Now, this might be of higher quality, of course, but it's still abstract. A cow jumping over the moon. Let's stick with our vividly green meadow, meadow with sheep and just um, runtime short, thumbnail, low resolution. Let's do low resolution. And I have two credits here and run create nah so I don't want to do that so th this actually restricts you uh, because you need to create an account so minus one for night cafe studio bye bye what else do we have here This is a blog by RoboFlow. Okay. So not as interesting. But I think there are free Google Collab notebooks where you can actually run uh, a model of VQGAN plus clip where you can get a higher quality resolution abstract images. Like, yeah, as you can see here, VGAN plus clip overview and you have this uh, original notebook these uh, seem really nice still they are abstract you can run this locally as well of course you can do style transfer what's this you can create interesting effects. Anyways, or you can simply just run this VQGAN clip overview. So this is a very short kind of like overview of generating images uh, from text. This is what we've got from the Flux community space. And over here, this is what we've got from the Abbott Labs doll e mini. So first, Look into uh, spaces from Hugging Face. Uh, there's probably going to be some interesting stuff, interesting stuff uh, other than uh, interesting applications other than image generation. And we'll probably look into more of these, more of these YOLO V5. That's interesting. Uh, we're probably going to look into more of these in future videos. 
you have uh, text stuff gpt uh, to persian what else medical image retrieval using a clip model sentence simplifier yeah we'll probably dedicate a, a different video to hugging face uh, spaces in the future now if you want to read the, this report from the folks that created this application uh, you can look into uh, there's a link there's a direct link f uh, over here at the flex community doll mini spaces on hugging face you have the direct link here on project report 1db so yeah look into that now let's close this vq again clip maybe we'll dedicate a different video to it and let's actually look at the results so uh let's see yeah so as i was saying resolution is lacking so this is what you actually get this i mean a two-year-old could do this it's i don't want to be mean or anything but this is um yeah not too not too interesting far from interesting so flex community uh your efforts are appreciated and i believe that future iterations of what you're doing here are gonna be improved tremendously if you're going to keep on working on this one now a bit labs let's see what they have here the same input uh, and similar outputs we have similar resolutions yeah so very similar resolutions nothing out of the ordinary here now in this case probably vq gan plus clip can do a better job in terms of as you've seen in terms of uh, higher quality and resolution but as far um, as of right now, Dolly e Mini, these two, at least these two that I've been looking into in this video, um, are of modest performance. Okay, so yeah, I guess that was it for this video.